Hello and welcome to Studs Up. I'm Rory Jennings. What's going on? I'm Nathan Caton. And we have a jam-packed show for you tonight. But before we get into any of that, we need to talk about last night's football, don't we? Oh. It was spectacular. It's definitely the best match I've ever seen. In indeed. Uh, Manchester City and Stoke put on a classic at the Etihad. Mm. Oh, man, that game will go down mm, in no. <laughs> Stop it. OK, I'm joking. That was incredible, wasn't it? The best <laughs> comeback the world has ever seen. Uh, well, I remember when uh, Ninja Turtles came back for a reboot. That was bum. <laughs> no, it was, it's up there with any... It, like, that's got to be up there with what Liverpool did in Istanbul, is not it? It's got to be up there with what Chelsea did against Napoli. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, I mean, how do you let a four-goal lead slip down in, in, in the Champions League? I mean, PSG, hang your head in shame. That says a lot about your character, you know. The fact that you don't <laughs> celebrate Barcelona, but you ridicule no, it, PSG. No, OK, it, it was great. Congratulations, Barcelona. It was great. It was... But as great as it was, it's not as great as what we've got planned on the show today, is it? Let's have a look. The disgraceful misconduct, elbowing, stamping. As far as refereeing blunders go, that's got to be up there. Welcome to my worst of the week. Do you know what? I really enjoyed watching last week. Mm. It was Tottenham's performance. They were fantastic, weren't they? Were they good. were good. Against Everton, I thought that could be a slip, you know. As a Chelsea fan, I was optimistic. But as much as I enjoyed watching their performance, the fluidity, the movement, mm. I also really enjoyed the celebration. Did you see Deli Ali and Harry Kane? No. They were incredible. Right, look at those two. They are incredible. I have a plan here. I have a plan where I think that me and you should try and... No. We, we could do this. Me and you could come up with a plan where we celebrate ourselves and, you know, do a thing. So, well, do hold a hand your hand up. No, mate. Yeah, we should have our own handshake. Well, I have a girlfriend and I want, I want to keep her. No, that isn't going to... Mate, this could enhance it. She, oh, I right. think she'll love it. If you, if you hold Bruv. the handshake, right, I think that if we go like this, we go... Bruv. I'm under severe pressure to slap you right now. Mate, what? Did you just say pressure? Yes. Did, did I just hear the words pressure? Do you know what that means? That means it's time for my favourite segment of the week. It's powered by Opta and it's brought to you by Shore and Goal. It's Duncan Alexander, the sexiest geek in the world and the pressure index. Pressure can come in many forms, from the tumultuous roller coaster of the relegation scrap to the high octane battle at the top of the table. Last weekend, we saw players at each end of the table step up. Swansea's Fernando Lorenti scored in the 92nd minute to edge Swansea that little bit closer to safety. He had six of their 24 shots, which is the most they've recorded in a Premier League game this season. Lorente's reward, a superb score of 95 on the pressure index. There's no chance Liverpool going down, but the Reds did look like candidates to drop out of the race for the top four after a dreary 2017. But Jurgen Klopp's Reds tore into rivals' arsenal Saturday evening. Brazilian false nine Roberto Firmino was a genuine threat throughout the game. He opened the scoring and he assisted Sadio Mane, earning himself a pressure index score of 93. Also scoring 93 was Tottenham's Deli Ali, who put in a tireless performance as Tottenham defeated Everton. His 92nd minute goal looked like being mere icing on the cake, but when Everton scored 70 seconds later, it turned out to be the winning strike. I'll be back in a bit to look ahead to a big weekend in both the FA Cup and the Premier League. Mm. So Nathan, I just gave you the opportunity to be Harry Kane to my Deli Ali. And you have chosen to not take that opportunity. Are you crazy? This Mate, guy is unplayable. As great as he is at the moment, I think I will pass. I mean, yeah, I'm, you... I'm, not, no, I'm not questioning that his quality. He obviously is quality. Uh, he is unbelievable. I actually think that he could be good enough to be... Look, look at that. Look at those stats. That is outrageous. 14, yep. That is it, absolutely okay. outrageous. I think he's good enough. To, you know, people talk about him in the Premier League. I think that perhaps he deserves to be mentioned alongside the, the greats of the game at the moment. I think that we should be talking about Harry Kane playing for Real Madrid, Barcelona. I think he's that Ooh, good. But talking of one English striker who's on the up in Kane, let's talk about another English striker who's probably on the down. Uh, that's Wayne Rooney. Check this out. He says, 
in a way he moves, he stays, he wants to help the team to fight for the for the trophies. Now it's uh, the legend uh, also for for Manchester. It's a fantastic player. I don't think people are putting Wayne up there with what the greats of Man United or with England at this moment of time. I, I can't I can't see Rooney going abroad. Do you know what I think no. we need to do is we need to talk to somebody mm. who's going to know about this. Go a on. man who bleeds red for Manchester United. <laughs> I'm buzzing about inviting him onto this show. I'm so excited that he's here. Please welcome our guest. It is the one and only Tinchy Strider. Yes. Good. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? You're good. Thank you. Jump in for me. Oh, well done, man. Well done. You good? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Well, he's got a handshake too. Mate, very good. Mate, that's what I needed. That's yeah. what I needed. That's what I needed. See, we need to get are one of those. Are you trying to do your own? I'm keen. Um, I'm keen to start one. Deli Ali, Harry Kane. Yeah. Yeah. So, like Manchester United have just drawn one all. Yeah. One all, it's not a bad result. It's not a bad result. Particularly from what, considering it's played on a beach. Yeah, from what Mourinho was saying, he didn't really want to play on that pitch, on that field, but mm. one all, can't complain yeah. and go back home and then, you know, like, we got this. Do you think? Yeah, I'm not really, like, see, before I was like, Europa League, I didn't, like, I, re I rep Man U, I watch it, but when it comes to Europa, I try to turn a blind eye a bit. <laughs> but do you not think that could be your best chance to get yeah, Champions sorry. League football? Because you're Lobo. knocking down sixth. No <laughs> matter what you do, you're staying sixth. V's from the sixth, yeah, yeah, I get it. But <laughs> what it is is that it's about, what, four points or five between six and, is it third or something? Yeah. Man United are not, we're coming top four. Do you think? Really? Yeah, I know. Do you think? Do you know, when I was speaking to you last night, sort of just having a chat about this, and yeah. we, we, I was rudely interrupting your evening when you were transfixed by the uh, Barca, Barca PSG Barca, yeah, because I was... Glued and then you was then you talking. Kept ringing, it up. <laughs> kept ringing. I'm like, this dude like football. <laughs> like, like, he ring me about football. This is the match you can't miss. So it yeah, was that, unbelievable. Wasn't yeah, it? That, that was crazy because I was just, what? How many minutes to go and they had to score yeah, three? Three goals in the last three like, seven three minutes. Yeah. yeah. I thought, but Barcelona's Barcelona, okay. I guess. But do you think it was more down to Barcelona being great or PSG just like bottling it? Because I, I think unbelievable. I think, no, so I think PSG should be banned from the Champions League next year for that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I think, I, think, I, think it was a bit, I think it was a bit of both, because I feel like Barcelona were just like pressing, pressing every second, but PSG, the kind of, they forgot where they were. Like, they had to just hold out for a bit. They got called cool finals, Champions mm. League. Yeah. It was acting like the day before, was it Arsenal? Was it? Yeah. 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 yeah, you got that one in quick. <laughs> yeah. well. do you, so, do you think, I think that Barcelona now are probably the only team around that could do that. I think they have the magic, they have the players capable of doing that. Yeah. Do you feel like they're now going to go on and win it? I don't know, I feel like because of what happened yesterday, it's kind of, it's written a bit, I feel like, because of the whole story, it's not meant to end next. It's yeah. meant oh, to man. And they've just got on. such fantastic players, haven't I, they? Yeah. I read this article, right? it, was on, it was on Goal. In fact, go over to the Goal.com to check this out. It really was a great article uh, by Pete Staunton. And he has basically said that Neymar is ready to step into, you know, the, the biggest of roles at Barcelona. Elite. He is due to become, yeah, you know the players, the so yeah. long Messi, yeah. and fill that void, you know, left by, you know, started over the years, but Ronaldinho, to become yeah. the main man in the new Barcelona, Do you yeah. think that Neymar is that good? You know what, before I was like, I was in two minds, because I thought, yeah, no, but yesterday, I've been watching him, I think he's getting there. Yesterday, that free kick he scored, it looked like he's playing yeah, FIFA. Cool, eh? Like yeah. it was, it felt like it wasn't real. I, was, I think you rang. <laughs> Sorry Again? about that. Uh, no, no, you know what? Okay. I think Barcelona will get to the final and get beaten by Leicester. How funny would that be? Oh, yeah? <laughs> After all that. Yeah, that would be great. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. But no, nah, I feel like Barcelona could go on and win it. Right, I, feel I'm, I agree with you, of, yeah, actually. Because yesterday, how it went, mm. yeah. they're meant to go further than yeah. this. They'll be lifting a trophy in Cardiff in a few months. Oh, right? oh yeah, There's yeah, a Cardiff, Cardiff. Oh, yeah, yeah that's where the um, do, you know, do you know what, Tinch? We, we're running a poll here at the moment, and we're talking about uh, Wayne Rooney, yeah, yeah. where he's going to end up next year, and Emma's looking after it fantastically well. Yeah, yeah. And the, the options are Everton, to stay at Manchester United, to or China. to follow the money to China. Yeah. Where do you think, if you were voting in that, where would you go? If I was wiser, I think I'll stay. Right. But do I what? Think, yeah, stay what, 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 but at the same time, go to... It depends what his drive is. If it's money he wants... I won't say need, because he don't need. Yeah. He's already getting some mad amount of money a week. <laughs> but if the missus, the family... I don't know what the plans are, but going to China, I don't know. It feels Come like... On. I Come on, know. imagine Rooney talking Mandarin and Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think... But, and but I what think, do you think... So, obviously, you've said what you would do is stay, yeah, stay with Manchester think, United. Think, yeah, I think going to Everton as well. Like, obviously, he's from there, that's his heart, but... I feel like he's Man United now, and I don't know how the fans will accept him back. I don't know how the, the Tonys will accept Does Wiser. he get in their team? I mean, that, well, that sounds like a bit of a flippant question, but I mean yeah. it genuinely. Do Barkley. you think that he gets in that team? Does with he... Barkley playing deep, Lukaku leading the line so yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. Um, I think he will, though. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, you're, if you're like, if you're like no. Man United... Rooney, come to Brentford. We'll accept you, <laughs> all right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if he... I don't think Brent... I don't think you lot will accept him. I don't think... You think he's a bit too much for your level of... Yeah, 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 yeah. And how do you feel about <laughs> just because obviously our, our clubs clash this weekend uh, yeah. well, on Monday night, Monday. and I'm, I'm buzzing for that. And I am over the moon that Zlatan Ibrahimovic it's isn't going to play in that that's game. Painful. Yeah, it's huge. I'm so yeah. so happy. How highly do you rate him? I rate him really highly because Zlatan, someone who I've always liked to feel okay. Every but I thought when it comes to the Prem, it's going to be a big challenge. And the case, the stages at his career age, I thought okay, but he's just been Zlatan. Like you got to ask mm. a question. Do you think something special is happening? He said, I'm here, I'm special. Yeah. That was the end of it, I thought. He's the man. He's the man. Yeah, he's the man, he's the man. <laughs> it could Confident. be off, though. I mean... It could be off, I know. Could be going to LA Galaxy. Oh, no. Ooh. Wow. That's all you lot got going on, yeah? <laughs> wow. Can you see that happening? They're going to break their wage structure for him and everything. I, do, I don't know. If he does, I can't hold that against him because he was meant to come for a year with an like, mm, option to yeah. extend it. So if he goes to LA Galaxy, I think if he stays one more year at United, don't go smooth it did this year, people might feel, oh, that time's falling and he didn't. And United, a lot of people have come and then they haven't kind of... De Maria, the Falcals, yeah. they've come and gone that way. But he didn't do that, so I feel like he might... Yeah, he's going to stay one more year. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think he probably will. Yeah, I'll probably I give him a I call tomorrow and tell him to chill a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let him yeah. know what he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <let's laughs> Tinch. Yo, yeah, 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 yo. Nah, it's T, yo, T. Yo, T. He's on, he's on a T level. Oh, it's a T level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Do you, know, do you know what? Going from like the top of the game, like this yeah. guy's obviously the best, one of the best that there's ever been. We're now going to spend a little time to discuss the worst. Please welcome Saunders Says and this week's Worst of the Week. Hello, I'm Saunders from Saunders Says and welcome to my Worst of the Week. First up, we have the disgraceful misconduct of Tyrone Mings and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The two players were clearly a little too excited for the boxing over the weekend and took the game into their own hands, elbowing, stamping and throwing their way through the match. Naturally, both players are now facing a ban for violent conduct. Come on lads, you're better than that. Next up, we have referee Anthony Taylor who awarded Burnley a penalty, much to the fury of the Swansea players, when Burnley player Sam Vokes handballed it in his own box. As far as refereeing blunders go, that's got to be up there. Finally, we have Arsene Wenger who decided to bench Alexis Sanchez against Liverpool where they lost 3-1. Now, it doesn't seem like the greatest idea to bench your best player, whose talents often see him breaking apart defences on most weekends, especially when the defence you're coming up against is Liverpool, which hasn't exactly been the best this season. I don't care what's going on with his job, that seems like a rookie error to me. So there you have it, that was my worst of the week. I've been Saunders, thanks for watching. I think he's nailed it. I think that there were three clear highlights of terrible things that happened in the Premier League last week. Yeah. And he has nailed them. We okay. obviously have this referee. It was outrageous, wasn't it? Yeah. You cannot definitely. do that. That you can't don't know don't know I mean, what. Anthony Taylor, what were you thinking? That was the Burnley game, right? Yeah, with the handball. Like that is absolutely outrageous. We have Wenger. Yeah. Who has been nominated before, but nobody has had the minerals to put him above into the oh, Wall of Shame. Nominated before. He's been nominated before, Ooh. but he's never gone there. And the okay. final one is Mings and Zlatan. For yeah. obvious reasons, you can't you can't do that, can you? You can rip two down basically. Okay. You can take two down, but one will remain on this wall forever. So give okay. it give it the thought that it deserves. Okay. Zlatan's gone. No. And Wenger oh. is finally oh, there. Wenger has made it. made it. made it on the wall of shame. Wenger has made it. No way. I believe where you got me. Yeah, you got it. Oh. You were for a second though. Like, come on. Like, I think um, Mings and Zlatan. Yeah, that I, was a bit I hard. Kept Mings and Zlatan on. Like, let's be fair, right? He did not mean to like stamp what? him in the head. Hey, oh, hey, the, hey, no, hey, no, come no, on. no, seriously. Because if you're gonna stamp on someone's head, it's gonna be like. Oh. No, but his he, face was not angry. He meant it. He meant it. He didn't mean it. Trust me. He meant it. Zlatan definitely meant to elbow him. Yeah. Mings was so guilty. Even OJ Simpson went, yeah, he did it. I think that we need to take football back to where it belongs, to the heartbeat, to the grassroots of the game. Right, check this out. This is incredible. This save is up there with the best. It's from Grassroots Goals. Mm. <laughs> you know, when we see saves like that, it makes me always wonder, who do you think is the best keeper in the league at the moment? Right now, you're going to think I'm biased, right? I know what go you're going to say. Yeah, go on, you're going to say it, go on. Jack yeah. London. DDG, Devin. Yeah, the guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, look yeah. at these. So out of, out of those, you're going to stay with the guy? Yeah, right now, yeah. And then I maybe 
Who are you going to go with? Um... I think, uh, do you know what? If I'm completely honest here, and it go pains on. me to say it, I think I agree with you. Yeah. I think oh, that, really? So... I think De Gea wow. is. I think De Gea is the best keeper. Oh, I think I, I think he's been yeah. the best keeper consistently for a very long time. Whereas Courtois is having a good season this year, but has been abysmal at previous. Oh, I thought you had bias running through and through, mate. Because you, you played as well, I've, I've yeah. heard. You played at quite a good level. You've yeah, had... I was at Wimbledon Youth Academy. Right. Yeah, yeah. and then I just kind of got... People said you picked music over football, but I didn't. It chose itself. Right. Okay. I was at that teenage age as well. So were you like... that luxury player that we're discussing? Yeah, I was like... <laughs> people said, what position do I play? I don't like shouting off, because I said I played... Oh, uh, free will. I played hat-trick a game. What? Hat-trick a game? That's huge. I don't, know what, I don't know what it's called. People say striker. No, I'm more than a striker. They don't score a game. <laughs> trick a game, yeah. So, you, so, yeah, you're clearly a man with a lot of skill. A lot of skill, man. <laughs> lot Speaking of skill, of skill actually, um, that thing, why don't we check out the uh, skill of the week? Brought to you by FFDTV. Uh, guys, you need to check out them. They are quality. Check out their content. Subscribe to them on YouTube. But for now, check out the FFDTV skills of the week. Obviously, he's a Chelsea player. Yeah. Chelsea had the opportunity to sign Deli Ali from Milton Keynes okay. and chose to not sign him. Yeah. And the reasoning behind that, Chelsea said, no thanks to Deli Ali. Yeah. We don't need you because we have Lewis Baker. OK. And that means that they perceived Lewis Baker to be a better player than Deli, Deli, Ali, Deli Ali, which he may well be. Yeah. But, but we don't know don't because he's not given it. the opportunity. Yeah, it's true. It's a shame. Do you think that there's an issue in, you know, Chelsea are an example here, but do you think enough young British players like Baker are not given an opportunity? I think so, yeah, because it's more like when you get to a certain level, it's all about who's got the most money, who's buying the biggest player, who's spending. Yeah. And it's harder when you're coming up. It feels like you've got to go to other teams to get a little run around and get experience before you come up. It's getting harder, I think, but it's not meant to be easy, man. Yeah, true. In fact, you know what? Let's take a look at how some of the other guys are handling the pressure. Let's see part two of Duncan Alexander and the Pressure Index. This season's FA Cup has been energised by feats from non-league and lower league teams, with fifth-tier Lincolns run to the quarter-finals, where they'll face Arsenal, one of the all-time great achievements. However, unquestionably, the biggest match of the sixth round takes place on Monday night, when cup holders Manchester United travel to Stamford Bridge to take on Premier League leaders Chelsea. The two teams account for six of the current top ten in the pressure index, and so with a Wembley semi-final on offer, both managers know they have the tools to unpick their opponents. United, of course, have already landed the EFL Cup, while Chelsea, they look destined to land their second Premier League title in three years. When the two sides met at Stamford Bridge in the league, Chelsea crushed their old pal Jose Mourinho 4-0, with Pedro getting a juicy pressure index score of 94 thanks to a goal after only 30 seconds, as well as an assist for the all-important fourth goal. United, well, they went out of the FA Cup in London on a Monday in both 2013 and 2015. Will 2017 be any different? Elsewhere, Middlesbrough are trying to shake off the stress of a relegation battle in which they've gone 433 minutes without scoring by beating Manchester City on Saturday. Back in 1997, Borough reached and lost both cup finals and went down despite a star-studded team funded by owner Steve Gibson. Steve Gibson is the uncle of the current highest-placed Borough player in the pressure index, Ben Gibson, in 16th place. Back in the Premier League, Liverpool's Sadio Mane takes on Burnley with the second best pressure index score over the last four games. With his goal against Arsenal last weekend, Mane has now scored more goals this season than in either his first two Premier League campaigns with Southampton. It's now time to talk about two of the biggest clubs in the Premier League. Okay. In world football, in fact. OK. It's Chelsea versus Manchester United on Monday <laughs> night. Yes. This is, this is it, isn't it? This is massive. The prize is Wembley. How are you feeling? I'm feeling 
to be honest, like Chelsea are looking scary. It's Chelsea, they look like you know they anyone. I don't know who can actually beat them apart from Man United. So, <laughs> so um, <laughs> shots fired. Right there. Are you feeling confident? Honestly, are you um, genuinely thinking that you got this? I think we're gonna win. Like I hate. I don't like saying think. I don't like saying no because I don't say I know it's not facts. But we're gonna win. Does the four 0 earlier in the season not trouble you? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I have don't to really bring that in. I you have to bring that in. I like that. It's <laughs> in the armory, man. <laughs> to, be, for to, the be, to be honest, yeah, I kind of does trouble me a bit, but I'm a guy who I don't really live in the past. Hey. I'm the now guy. Philosophy. The future. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Future. So if you live in the here and now, you've got to be buzzing with a one all result in, uh, in <laughs> Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of buzzing with the undefeated run. Okay. I like your spin. It's a good spin. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very, very we, didn't, we didn't lose, that's the main bit. They didn't lose, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't lose. How, how, much of a, how much of a problem is it that Ibrahimovic won't be there? It's crazy, because he scores so many goals and I wonder who's going to get the goal when he's not yeah, there. Doesn't that open the door for someone like Rashford to come play up front, you know, with his yeah, pace? Yeah, yeah, it's true, he can do the number nine, Rashford, hopefully, but it's just like, Slatan done so much, it's like, he can do good, but they're going to get us the goals, because Slatan can be quiet through the whole game, yeah. one chance he'll score. So I don't know if Rashford, I rate Rashford a lot, I rate him, because he's got no fear. That yeah. young man, but... So you've already won one trophy this season. Yeah. Which is, which is massive. You know, the game is about winning trophies as far yeah. as I'm concerned, and that is Mourinho all over. Yeah, it's true. How many do you think that you're going to end the season with? I think... You think you're going... For, you think... I think the Europa, I think we'll get that. The Europa. So do you think you get Champions League... Champions through Europa. Through Europa? Top four. I think we'll be top four. Okay. I, I just sound like I'm a real positive. greedy man. <laughs> greedy no, man, he wants a lot. No, I want I think, it all. I think, no, I think, I think we're going to get top four because it's so close and I thought someone's going to slip up. I don't know, but. God, by your logic, you're going to win the league. <laughs> no, 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 ain't gonna, ain't gonna, no, we ain't going to win the league, but we, ain't, we are going to beat Chelsea on Monday, so hey. FA Cup's a possibility as well. So, okay. yeah. So I can't really, I don't want to throw too many out there. Ah, but. but you know what? I mean, obviously, big game, FA Cup, yeah. I get that, but there are league games this weekend, big relegation six pointer. Holland Swansea. Do, yeah. do you know what? I, I would go... I'm, I'm putting my neck on the line slightly here, but I think that whoever loses that game yeah. is going down. I think, it's, I think that's mm. how big that fixture is. Whoever loses that's it is a shame. Gone. I think Swansea... I'm not saying that Swansea would want to lose, but I think if they lost, it wouldn't be the end of the world. If Hull lost, then, yeah, I think they're doomed. But I if Swansea lose to Hull, yeah. that means but, Swansea are in a dire strait. No, yeah. But Swansea, they've kind of been on a decent one of late. I think they're, like, 15th for now. They've got a bit of breathing space. I don't think Swansea again. Mm. I think Sunderland. Do you think again. Sunderland are gone? Because everyone know. around them started winning and yeah, they're just. Yeah. Winning. I don't know, man. I feel like they just somehow they just didn't rely on Jermaine Defoe. Yeah. And I feel like I can't pick three that again, Dan, but I feel like Sunderland. I hope they stay. Is I it like because Sunderland. of you? You obviously know David Moyes more than we do. <laughs> yeah. Is, is it because <laughs> you have no, no faith in Moyes? Um, I, doesn't, I don't think Moyes has faith in himself. You rate yourself in a penalty shootout, right? OK. So, not only have you got to score as many penalties as you can in 30 yeah. seconds, Emma's going to time you. OK. But I'm going to ask you questions, because I've heard that you support a team in, in every country. For example, Glasgow Rangers yeah, yeah. are your Scotland team. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you countries, and you yeah. tell me who you support in that country okay. in 30 seconds. You've got to score as many penalties as you can. Ready? OK, what? Just get in Just the score a penalty. OK. OK, who do you support in... So the what, United... answer, then kick. Answer, then okay. kick. Right. Counting down, if start the clock in three, ready? two, one. Three, Who is your team in the USA? Two, USA, LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy, oh, okay. <laughs> And he's missed. Ah, right. 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 right, who is your team in Greece? Greece. Brixton. Yeah, Brixton. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, oh, she goes in. We've got 19 <laughs> seconds got, left. Who's your team in Spain? Spain, Madrid, Real Madrid. Madrid, Real Madrid, okay. go. Oh, oh, there's more. Who the is your the team ball. Seven seconds left. Can he Holland. get it? Holland. Don't pass me. Three, oh, two, one. Oh. And he misses oh, it. So many? we got one. We got one. one. That's game over. Oh, <laughs> he's hit the post. One. I don't think anybody's beaten that. One. Nate, I've seen you try earlier. <laughs> right. It was no good. It's all right. Go on. Let me do this. Let me show you. Are you going to do it? OK, yeah. watch. Ready? All right, cool. Let's do right. it. Emma, you start the clock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Who is your team in Azerbaijan? Azerbaijan. This is Azerbaijan FC. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right, Nathan, who is your team in Norway? Norway is Rosenberg. Oh, oh, oh no, he's in one. He's in one. They want more to win. Nathan, who is your team in Ireland? Ireland is Cork FC. Oh, he's got oh. it! He's got 12 seconds left. He's got it! 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 He's
was <laughs> signing him up. That was <laughs> outrageous. Oh, that's that's going oh, look at this. Oh, there's Sean Bain and everything. Oh, oh, that was oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. Sit down. <laughs> Get back in your box. He's got to his head. Oh, Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Tinchi, thank you so much for coming in. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. There we go. Um, it's been brilliant. We will be back <laughs> next week and we have loads more things. We have a very special guest Ooh. and we have Chelsea versus what? No! It's going to be uh, brilliant uh, uh. and we will see you then. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> hold but on, I hold on. Just before you go, what? just Whoa. before you Whoa. go, there's something oh very God. special happening. Okay. What? Are we ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday. Birthday. Right, we, weren't, we weren't allowed to light it. They weren't there because we were in the studio. They wouldn't let us light the candles. But it's Emma's birthday. And we wanted to give you a special Thank present. You. You right. Right. Make a wish that Chelsea win the league. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you all next week. Thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs> oh.